When does the narcissist game finally end? When is their game finally over? From the moment the narcissist first met you, they were playing a game with you. They weren't really serious about you. They weren't really serious about investing anything into you. They manipulated the situation in a way that was not honest or fair. They mirrored you. They reflected your own qualities and abilities back to you. While knowing that they weren't about any of that, they deceived you. They deliberately caused you to believe something that was not true for their own personal gain. They gave you a mistaken impression they presented themselves as someone who was a victim. They presented themselves as someone who was loyal and supportive. Someone who understood you. And naturally, this would be very attractive to you. To you. It is very flattering to meet someone who shows an interest in you. Someone who acts as though they understand you. Someone who is very supportive. Especially if you have met a lot of toxic people. You want to believe that maybe this time it's different. Maybe this time you finally met someone who is on your side. Maybe this time you finally met someone who isn't just going to take advantage of you. And the narcissist plays their part. They play the role of someone who is supporting. Secretly, they are plotting to take advantage of you. They only targeted you to use you. Because they just see it as though you're gullible. You're naive. You show a lack of wisdom, experience and judgment. And in their minds, if you're so dumb to believe what they're displaying to you, then you deserve everything they do to you. You deserve to be taken advantage of. They see it as though if you were smart, they wouldn't be able to do that. They wouldn't be able to position themselves in your life. But if they do manage to gain access to your world, they see it as though that alone makes them deserving of everything you have to offer. They have a strong sense of entitlement and they expect you to see it as a privilege to even be around them. In their minds, they are investing their time and energy into you and there is a hefty price to pay for that. Even though the time that they have spent with you may have made your life more difficult. It may have caused you to experience all kinds of health problems. You may have experienced financial difficulties. And yet they really believe that they're doing you a favor. They think they're helping you. When the reality is that they only targeted you because they knew that being with you would be more convenient for them. But they disguised it as though they were coming in to save you. As though they were coming in to help and support you. 
when that was nothing more than deception. They presented a false impression to you. When a narcissist gets involved with someone, they're always playing a game. They act as though they want to develop something meaningful with you, but they never have anything to invest into it. They're always leeching off the other person's time, energy and money, yet acting as though they're the ones who are helping you, but they never provide anything to you. They can never sit down and listen to you talk without having to chime in, without having to interrupt you and express their opinions. You never feel like you're being heard. You never feel understood by the narcissist. And yet when they targeted you, they presented this image of someone who did understand you, but they shift the blame onto you by making you believe that you left out some important details or you weren't clear about something. Whenever there is something wrong in the relationship, they will always put the focus on the other person. Narcissists do not self-reflect for long periods of time. They're not going to entertain the idea that they were at fault because they don't want to deal with the consequences. But the narcissist never targeted you to build anything with you. They already knew that they didn't have the tools to do that, but they noticed a big pile of bricks that you were, that you were using to build something. And that was what, what and that was what attracted them to you. But they had no intention of using those bricks to build anything. That was all a part of the act. They just wanted to come in and take all of those bricks for themselves. From the moment you meet the narcissist, the game is on. They are ready for the challenge. They are ready to make the situation develop in their favour. Which isn't difficult for them to do. Because most often the other person isn't even aware of it. We don't realise we are in a game. We don't realise we're involved in a scam. But that's all it really is. It's a dishonest scheme. But you are oblivious to what is happening. While they have a lot of experience, they've done this many times before. And they targeted you for a reason. They knew that you didn't have a support network. They knew that you lacked experience, but that is what they used against you. They see it as though that means you deserve everything they do to you. Because if you were smart, they wouldn't have been able to lock you into this situation. They wouldn't have been able to exploit you. They don't consider that they tricked you. They don't consider that they used a cunning act or scheme to deceive or, and, out, and outwit you. They think that's okay. They think that's a desirable quality to have. In their minds they outsmarted you. They outthought you. They got the better of you by being clever and cunning. They moved more quickly than you.
it's like a game of chess. They see it as a complex situational problem that requires strategy and thought to solve. And their goal in this game is to manoeuvre their pieces in an effort to remove your pieces until it's finally checkmate. Where you have no possible moves to make. There is no way for you to avoid the threat. And the attacking player wins the game. The narcissist is never going to stop playing their game. It's a form of entertainment for them. It's a distraction. It's something they engage in for amusement and fun. It's a game of cat and mouse. It involves constant pursuit, near captures and repeated escapes. It makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they are in control. Which is all a narcissist really wants. So they can keep playing this game for the rest of their lives. It's their life support. But it is not good for you. It is only going to destroy you in the end. Which is why you have to make the decision to end the game. By no longer agreeing with them. By no longer complying with their demands. By no longer being a willing participant. Because that is the only way that this game is going to end. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.